Hi, this is Liz with Egghead Fixers. Today we're going to be discussing how to replace a swollen battery on a Dell laptop. You can see, the first thing I'm doing is discharging the battery. Unplug the AC adapter from the system and, the operating, and use the operating system only in battery power. When the system will no longer power on, when the power button is pressed, the battery is fully discharged. So, as you can see, I am unscrewing all the screws on the bottom panel first. Well, that one's already loose. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Also, as a shout out, I've included a link of guidelines and suggestions from Dell on how to handle a swollen battery. I suggest reading through those guidelines before you attempt this yourself, if you do choose so, because this is not the easiest thing in the world to do. So go ahead and take your pry tool, as you can see, and I am prying apart bottom panel from the palm rest and there's your battery now this might be obvious but I'm gonna say it just cuz I'm gonna say it so you go ahead and exercise caution when handling these batteries as you can see I'm unplugging it first when you are removing your battery be careful not to crush drop manipulate it possibly try to pe accidentally penetrate it with your tool that's a bad idea battery juices everywhere are not good okay as you can see here I am removing the first screw and then I'm going to go ahead and remove the second screw. Now, another thing people ask sometimes is, do swollen batteries affect my performance of my computer or cause any damage? The answer to, and now I'm working on the third screw, as you can see, the answer to this question is yes. They do cause damage and they do affect your performance. Now I'm working on the fourth screw. And I'm gonna be careful not to pry my battery or bend it in any way. There we go, I pull it out. Now I take my next battery and I put it back in, just like so. Uh, sometimes people wonder, why did my battery swell in the first place? Um, it can do for various reasons, such as reasons such as age, uh, number of charge cycles, or exposure to heat. Uh, if you do feel it might be possibly heat when, uh, that caused your swollen battery, as you can see right now, I'm putting back in all the screws. But if you do feel that it could be heat that caused it, then you could always use a cooling pad. It's good for your computer. It's good for your battery, so it's never a bad idea. Putting back in another screw. See, I'm having trouble putting back in my screws. And as a shout out, people sometimes wonder, what do I do with this swollen battery? A lot of recycling centers take them because it is important when you are handling a swollen battery that you dispose of it properly. Sometimes Best Buys accept the batteries for proper disposal as well. All right, so as you can see, after a little bit of trouble, I've gotten all my screws back in. Also, and there you go, I plugged it back in. Also, as a suggestion, if you do have a swollen battery, I do not, we do not recommend continuing to use your laptop with a swollen battery. Okay, so as you can see, push it down. Get in as best as I can, and then I go ahead and tighten all my screws. As you can see, you have to kind of push it down as you go along. Also, I heavily suggest getting your replacement battery from Dell.com and making sure that you get the right ones. The last thing you want to do is replace it with a generic battery that gives you the same problem. Okay, so as you see, I have almost put in all my screws. done.
Thanks for watching. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, go ahead and subscribe. Or if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll go ahead and get back to you. But anyway, thanks for watching. And from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.